Running Roadrunner Worker without error handling is not very safe. Let's try to add some of the error handling to our worker. First of all, we are going to wrap the wait, respond, wait request method, uh, and in case if the request cannot be processed, we can respond to the user with some custom response. Let's say it is going to be error code 400 and any custom payload which you want to attach to this page. Uh, it can be HTML page, JSON payload, or a simple text. The more practical example is to handle errors produced by your application. Since we are not using application, what we are going to do, we are going to wrap the PSL response function, which in our case plays the role of the business logic of your application. Similarly to handling the errors produced by the wait request, we can respond to the user with some custom message. In addition to that, uh, you can also send the error directly to the Roadrunner error log by calling method worker error. Let's add the statement to our worker. In this particular installation, we are not using enable debug um, options, so we won't see this error in our log, but it is always recommended to pass it. And finally, let's try to trigger error by our application. We can do that by simply throwing any exception. Here we go. Since we are using the Roadrunner in production mode, we will have to restart it. The server has been restarted. We can now trigger the page and we should observe the error response sent to the user. As you can see, we sent 500 to the user. The error log which we sent to the roadrunner not presented here. In a later video we will explain how to enable it.